So we're still on our journey to hope. And today we're going to talk about money. Oh, I put my wallet out here. Frank, you've got to clean this up first thing. <laughs> I put my wallet out here to, to indicate that every journey takes money. But how much money and what, how do we use it? Do we use it just to go on the journey to hope? Or do we use it to spend, do we spend our money on souvenirs on the journey? Souvenirs that we might just put on a shelf when we get home? Or do we use our money on the journey to help people? So at the other end, many people have been bringing in socks and underwear and other things that were on a wish list for our homeless in Glen Burnie. So sometimes we spend money to help others, and sometimes we spend money on ourselves when we go on the journey of hope. One of the things that the United Methodist Church does is spend money on helping other people. And one of the programs that we have is called Imagine No More Malaria. So you have crossword puzzles in, in today about Imagine No More Malaria. It's the United Methodist Church working in Africa. We have ended malaria here in the United States. But in Africa, over 500 million people get sick each year by malaria, and almost 800,000 die. Used to be that a million people died every year in Africa from malaria, but by the United Methodists and other people working really hard there, they've brought that number down. Malaria is a disease that's carried by a certain kind of mosquito, and that female mosquito bites people at night. So one way that they fix this problem is by giving people a net to sleep under. This net would, would a whole family could sleep under this one net, and it, because it's very large. It's almost, it's a mosquito net, but it also, in the net, there's poison. So if the mosquitoes land on the net, they die, but the poison doesn't hurt the people if they touch the net. And the net fits over the whole thing. This is what happens. Trey, do you want to hold that bowl? Yeah. You want to step just behind Trey so people can see? You come over here. All right. You can hold this one. This is a red blood cell. I want you to hold it over the bowl, okay, because it might spill. <laughs> hold it open a little bit for a minute. The mosquito comes along and it bites people. And then it, it injects into people, it injects a parasite. And the parasite goes in your bloodstream, uh, multiplies in your liver, and then goes out into the blood cells. And you can put the parasite into the blood cell. Put it right in there. And then we're going to zip it up quickly, quickly. We're going to zip it up. <laughs> oh, 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 it's not quickly enough. You see what's happening in there? Megan, you hold this over the bowl and give it a little shake, like that. What's happening in there, Megan? Oh, 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 oh! What's happening? They burst just like that. And if your blood cells are bursting, you get one heck of a headache and a bad fever. If you are in the United States, you just go to the doctor and get medicine. But not everybody in, the, in Africa can just go to the doctor or the clinic and get medicine. So number one, we got to use, give the people the nothing but nets, nets to protect them from the mosquitoes. And number two, the United, United Methodists, they build uh, roads, hospitals, and clinics so that people can get medicine. That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? You may go back. We will pray. Thank you, God, that we have medicine here and that we care enough to bring hospitals and clinics to other parts of the world so that children in those lands don't have to die from malaria. Amen.